Hi, I'm Sam from Dataprobe. This Getting Started video will help you to get your iBoot G2 or iBoot G2 Plus up and running in a few easy steps. Once the iBoot and all the cables are unpacked, we'll start by hooking up the cables. Connect the network cable between your router or network switch and the iBoot. You're going to use a PC to complete the setup, so make sure the iBoot's network connection is on the same local network as the PC you've selected to do the setup. Next, connect the 6-foot AC line cord to the power source and then to the power input of the iBoot. Next, connect the short power cable between the AC output of the iBoot and the device the iBoot will be controlling. In this case, my lamp. The next step is to get the iBoot a proper IP address from your network. The easiest way to do that is using your device management utility, also known as the DMU. You can download the DMU from dataprobe.com. Go to dataprobe.com, click on support, select support for the iBoot G2, and click on the DMU set a program under available downloads. Download the program and run the installer. The DMU provides the easiest way to find all the Dataprobe products on your local network, access the iBoot for the first time, set the IP address, reset factory defaults, and upgrade the firmware of your iBoot units. Since I've already installed the program and created a shortcut on my desktop, I'm going to go ahead and run the DMU. If you have more than one network on your PC, you will need to select the proper network that has the iBoot attached to it. If this is the case, then use the set local IP address to select the correct network. In my case, the iBoot is on my 10.10.10 .10 subnet. To find the iBoot, click on Device, Discover. You should now see your new iBoot displayed as I do here. To change your iBoot IP address to be on your subnet, select the discovered iBoot, then set IP address. Fill in the IP address that you want, in my case 10.10.10.254. Click OK and the program will tell you that the IP address has been changed. Rediscover the iBoot with Device Discover and you will see the new IP address. Select Manage, Open Browser, and you will see the iBoot logon page. Use the default username of admin and admin for the password as well. Go to Setup, Network to program the correct gateway, and Save. A reboot will be required to apply the new gateway. Now the iBoot is on the network and you can access it from a web browser on the local network. This is all you need. You're done. If you prefer your router to assign the IP address settings for you, you can select the mode as DHCP and then save. A reboot will reset the iBoot network information and get its new settings from your router. You can now use the DMU to find the server assigned IP address and then access the unit using Manage Open Browser. If you want to be able to access the iBoot from anywhere on the internet, we will need to connect it to the iBoot cloud service. The cloud service will allow you to manage all your iBoots from a single portal. We will need to establish an account with the iBoot cloud service and then associate the iBoot with that account. To begin with, you will open a browser and go to iBoot.co. This is not iBoot.com, but iBoot.co. Click the registration link in the corner Enter your desired username and the system will verify its availability. Enter a valid email address. The system will verify your identity by sending you a confirmation email. Type in the desired password. Confirm your password. Then fill out the contact information on the rest of the form. After entering your zip code, click on the sign up button. The system will register you and then send you a confirmation email. When you receive the email, it will contain a link that you will need to follow to validate your account. After establishing the online account, the iBoot will need to be associated with it. Log on to the iBoot locally. Then, go to the Network Setup section. Near the bottom, there is a checkbox for Enable Cloud Service. Check the box and click Save. The unit will contact the iBoot Cloud Server and obtain a registration code. Click directly on the code and the web browser will take you to the iBoot cloud server. Log in with the account that you've already established and the unit will appear in a list of available iBoots. Select the device and a modal window will pop up. This window will allow you to rename the device, assign the unit to a location, 
Turn the power on, off, or cycle the power. Congratulations. Now you're on your way to minimizing downtime with iBoot. If you have any questions, please contact Data Probe Technical Support. And remember, we're here to help.